remain focused. Somebody in here tonight, you're struggling with staying on focus. Because it seems like things are chaotic. But anybody who ever been on a construction site knows that it looks like everything is in total chaos. That's because dirt is flying everywhere. How you get dirt in your eyes? Things are falling on your head from the sky. And you think that everything is chaotic. And that's why when we come to church and God is doing construction, it seems like everything is out of order. Seems like everything seems to be in chaos. And my God we want the man of God to come down from the mountaintop to try to talk to us about foolishness. But it is the man of God's job to keep us focused on the task. Have we got a witness in here? I don't know how y'all feel about it, but purpose is so important to me because my life is surrounded by purpose. The only reason why God gave me another day was because of divine purpose. The only reason why I'm enclosed in my right mind is because of divine purpose. Have I got a witness in here? The only reason why I'm at genuine love tonight is because of divine purpose. The only reason why God didn't leave you on the dance floor is because of divine purpose. The only reason why God delivered you from smoking and drinking is because of divine purpose. Have I got a witness in here? The only reason why God gave you a voice for saying
that you even have them on your mind. Why was God thinking about you? Why was he thinking about you? Why was he thinking about you? Why did he have you on his mind? You know why? Divine purpose. And everyone, you're here tonight for a purpose. The question is, are you going to let people stop you from doing what God told you to do? Are you going to let allies be formed against you? Because you do know no weapon formed against you. Shell, prosper. You know when the enemy comes in like a flood. The Spirit of the Lord will raise a standard against him. The psalmist said, though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war rise against me. He said, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired the Lord, and that will I seek after. Purpose. Everyone stand. Everyone stand. Purpose is so powerful. so powerful that God in himself I need to share this with you I need to share this how many of you remember when the Lord of hosts came to Abraham right before they destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah y'all remember that? how many remember the story? my Bible scholars, let me see your names it's just me and Pastor oh this is Morris, I see you I see. anybody else know the story? genuine love, y'all know the story? and the angel and, and the Lord of hosts says is there anything too hard for God? The nugget in that text is that the Lord of hosts came to remind Abraham that God was going to give him a seed. Y'all don't hear me. And it is so awesome because he says if you can name and number the sand on the seashore, that's how your seed is going to be. He said you can number the stars that are in the sky. Those will be you. That's what your nation is going to be about. But eternity and the promise was standing before him. The Lord of hosts was the answer to everything Abraham wanted. What are you saying, Reverend? Everything that genuine love needs to fulfill the purpose and vision of the house is sitting right here, right now. You're the answer to the purpose and the vision of the house. The point is, is you got to realize that. You are here because you are absolutely necessary for the vision of this house. And you have to know that. You understand what I'm trying to say? Sister, you are absolutely necessary to bring to pass the vision of the house. The question is, do you believe it? Because everything that Pastor Apostle Charles Thompson needs to bring the vision to pass is inside of you. And you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. And you know what is so awesome? I'm even a part of it. Every time I come and sow a seed into the vision of the house, I begin to be a part of the vision of this house. They call it a prophet's reward. That's why when it's time to give, don't get upset about that. God, listen, you're about to bless me more because I'm about to receive a prophet's reward. And I don't know, I don't know. I don't know too much about a prophet's reward, but it sounds mighty good to me. Have I got a witness in there? Let's give God some praise. Come on and give him praise. Purpose. Purpose. Nehemiah says, listen, he said, dude, listen. He says, I'm doing a good work and it's not finished. And I cannot waste my time with foolishness. 
Someone here today, God has told me to tell you, it's time out for foolishness. Come on, God. It's time out. Listen, you already know what's going to happen if you pick the phone up. You already know what the conversation is going to be. If you stay home and watch TV, you already know what's going to happen. Yeah. 